His name was Locke. He was quiet, had just turned 12 in August. They used to meet up at the park and play football. So he wanted to know if he could go to the park, and I said yes. A few minutes later, his friend come running, and I thought it was all of them coming back to get in the pool. But it was the little boys beating on the door letting me know that he had been hit by a car. I used to work in the medical field, so when I got there, I knew that it was going to be bad. And I got the kids in the car and called in and said, you need to come on. Locke's been hit by a car. When she called me, I was in disbelief. He was hit in the back of the head. And that's when we found out that it was never going to get any better. Be on a machine his whole life, so. We decided not to do that. And that's the hardest decision I think we ever had to make in our life. You know, you hear all these stories about people, but you never imagine that it would happen to you. You can't fathom that kind of thing happening to you personally. We called Mr. Baggett and just told him our story. They were doing construction on that road. He was able to find a contract that stated there should have been barriers up and there wasn't. They had none of that. At least we know that every step wasn't taken that should have been taken to help prevent something like this from happening. So now they have accountability, and now they found out the flaws in their companies. They did a lot of investigating for us. What they didn't know, they found out. They're very compassionate, kind, friendly. Caring, very caring. And they do make you feel like family.